Yo, what's going on YouTube and Raider Nation? It is your boy Byron Live 95 back at y'all with a, another video, another Forgotten Raiders video. Uh, decided to, you know, get back into it because of the quarantine and all that. And today I want to talk about Lewis Murphy. Now we're going to go with the highs and the lows with Lewis Murphy's career. But I promise you in the end, you might have a better outlook on the player Lewis Murphy. Now, Lewis Murphy was born in St. Petersburg, Florida in the year of 1987. While growing up in the Florida area, Murphy attended Lakewood High School. Lewis Murphy would end up becoming a, an amazing three-sport athlete while he was playing there. For starters, he played QB and wide receiver for the football team, played power forward for basketball, and also ran in a lot of track and field. He also won a state championship in his sophomore year while playing in track. So it's needless to say, Lewis Murphy showed off top that he was gonna be a star in athletics. But Lewis Murphy was known more for his football skills on the field. And when it came time for Lewis Murphy to go to the college level, he was ranked as the 26th best wide receiver coming out of high school in the country. And you guys wanna know who was ranked 13th the same year he decided to go to college? The 13th best wide receiver to come out of high school was Darius Hayward Bay. You, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just crazy. But anyway, now Lewis Murphy had six scholarship offers, would decide to play for the Florida Gators under coach Urban Meyer at the time. And he would also be teammates with Tim Tebow, Joe Hayden, Brandon Spikes, and Percy Harvin while attending Florida. Now his first two years in 2005 and 2006, Lewis Murphy would not see much action on the football field. But that would all change during his last two years. In his junior and senior years, Lewis Murphy would become one of the top wide receivers for his team. He would improve in yards, catches, and touchdowns, and even his average on catch. Now, after his college career was over, Lewis Murphy would decide to go in the 2009 NFL Draft. Now, Murphy was only projected at the time to go in the fourth round. It was looked at as still a raw wide receiver. So in the 2009 NFL Draft, guess where Lewis Murphy would go? In the fourth round. And he would be picked by the Oakland Raiders. And Lewis Murphy would make an immediate impact while playing his first two seasons with the Raiders. Also goes the end zone, touchdown! So there's the timeout. Get everybody on the same page. He's got one for the receiver out here that's Lewis Murphy great fake I tell you Campbell can pull off that Lewis Murphy with some yardage after the catch. Still going. It's 
in 2011, Murphy will become just a rotational player in the offense because basically at that time we had Jacoby Ford, Darius Hayward Bay, then there is more. So there wasn't a lot of room for starting at the wide receiver position, which led to him only starting one game that year, only having 15 catches for 241 yards and would finish with zero touchdowns. Well, zero touchdowns and receiving that is, but he would end up having one rushing touchdown in that season. Now going into the off season, the Raiders would decide to trade Lewis Murphy to the Carolina Panthers for a conditional late round draft pick. This is in the year of 2012. The Raiders had too much depth at wide receiver, like I said, Darius Hayward Bay, Denarius Moore, Jacoby Ford at the time, while the Carolina Panthers were looking for a wide receiver help. So going into the 2012 season, Lewis Murphy would only start in five games. And in those five games, he would have 25 catches for 336 yards and score a touchdown. But unfortunately, when his contract was up, the Carolina Panthers would not re-sign him and Lewis Murphy would go into free agency. So now in 2013, Lewis Murphy would decide to sign with the New York Giants at the time. But sadly, this would be the worst year of his NFL career. During his stint with the New York Giants, Murphy did not see much playing action on the field. But with his one year with the New York Giants in 2013, he would play in 14 games, but not start in a single one. With him having career lows all over the board, he finished that one season with the New York Giants and only finished with six catches for 37 yards and score a touchdown. So now it's coming to the point where his career is starting to go downhill. And especially in 2013, this would be the worst year that he would have. After a very disappointing season with the New York Giants, he would be released and would be back into free agency. Murphy had offers from the Cincinnati Bengals and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but would eventually sign with Tampa Bay. In 2014, Lewis Murphy would mainly play as the third wide receiver or the slot wide receiver as most people call it, and he started in just three games. But still, he had a decent season. 31 catches for 380 yards and scored two touchdowns. And in December of 2014, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were so impressed by Lewis Murphy's play that they decided to extend his contract for three years. So he would stay with the team all the way up into 2017. Things were looking very well for Lewis Murphy. He goes to a different team, he gets a contract extension, they like using him in the offense a lot more. But then, this is where stuff starts going south. So in the very next season, in 2015, Everything was looking good for Lewis Murphy, but unfortunately that would all come to an end in week seven of the 2015 season when the Tampa Bay Buccaneers played against the Washington Redskins. First and 15 following the penalty as Winston throws wide open as Lewis Murphy and he picks up a first down into Redskins territory. First catch today for Murphy who is not able to get back up after gaining 24 yards. And that'll be interesting to see what happens with Tampa Bay because they've only got four wide receivers up on the active roster. That brings them down to just three. So the Bucks medical staff tending to Lewis Murphy. We'll be back. Lewis Murphy would end up tearing his ACL and would be done for the rest of the season. He would finish that season with 10 catches for 198 yards and zero touchdowns. But then in July of that same year, Lewis Murphy would make headlines in the media after he attended a wedding of a close friend of his and had a little bit too much to drink and fell asleep and woke up inside of a Florida museum. After the incident that happened in the museum, no charges were filed against Lewis Murphy. Had a little bit too much to drink and ended up falling asleep, waking up and everybody was gone, had to call 911. We go into the 2016 season. 
And Murphy would not play at all during this season as he was struggling to get back on the field from his torn ACL that he suffered in 2015 last year. And here it is coming into 2016, he was still having problems getting on the field and wasn't 100% healthy. So halfway through the 2016 season, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers would decide to release Lewis Murphy. That has to hurt, man, because here it is. You go with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, he proves himself, looks good, gets a contract extension. Then right when he gets that, the next year tears his ACL. He's in the media headlines for the wrong reasons. And now here it is, he's struggling to get back on the field, even though he tore his ACL a year ago and still wasn't healthy enough to come back. And they had no choice but to cut him. So things aren't looking too good for Lewis Murphy. And now things would only get worse for my man. In April of 2017, Murphy would run into trouble with the law. He was arrested for having possession of a loaded Glock 23 pistol in his backpack and had 11 rounds of ammunition inside of it. So yeah, everybody knows you can't bring weapons like that to the, to the airport. He also did not have a concealed weapons permit, which led him to getting arrested and going to jail. But he would be later released on a $2,000 bond. And at this point, it looks like his career is going downhill and looks like no one else is going to pick him up. Now, in 2017, he did have a workout with the New Orleans Saints, but nothing else after that. But in 2017, Murphy would get one last chance to play in the NFL. So he decided to sign with the San Francisco 49ers. Now, Lewis Murphy would start in seven games. And in those seven games with the 49ers, he had eight catches for 121 yards and scored a touchdown. Jimmy Garoppolo's first ever touchdown that he threw as a 49er came from Lewis Murphy. Now, after his stint with the 49ers, season's over, they don't re-sign him, Lewis Murphy would unfortunately not be able to find an NFL team to play with in the year of 2018. So he went one whole year and it looks like his career is basically now going. And Lewis Murphy would try one last attempt to play football and he would start in 2019 as he would play for the AAF. So Lewis Murphy would end up signing with the Orlando Apollos, but unfortunately he did sign with them, but did not make the final roster cuts. But there is some good news for my man, Lewis Murphy. They're leading camps, helping thousands of children in the Tampa Bay area. That's right, our Laura Harris talked to the camp's host, a former Tampa Bay Buccaneer, whose priority is showing kids success measured on and off the field. I was like three years old or four. Three or four years old. Ten-year-old Jermaine James has been playing football for as long as he can remember. I've learned a lot. I've learned, like, ha how to, um, like, work hard and achieve your dreams. One of his favorite players, former Tampa Bay Buccaneer wide receiver, Lewis Murphy Jr. That's one of the reasons he has been attending Murphy's camp for the last six years. It, it's cool because I get to meet, like, Gerald McCoy and all these NFL players who got drafted. Kids like Jermaine are the reason Murphy started the camp through his nonprofit, First Downs for Life. Seven to 8,000 kids have come through the camp in its 11 years. It means everything to me. We have about uh, 10 kids that's currently in the uh, pros in the NFL that have came through First Downs for Life. Murphy is also trying to help off the field, adding the Youth Empowerment Summit to the camp weekend, showing kids that professional sports are a great aspiration, but there are other ways to be successful. Ultimately, the St. Pete native says the camp was all about a promise to himself and his late mother. I made a promise to God that if I ever did make it out, man, I'll come back and give whatever golden nuggets, whatever keys to success to the kids of St. Pete, Tampa Bay surrounding areas. Lewis Murphy started his own youth group program and it's called First Downs for Life. And as you can see on the website, the group focuses on empowerment and inspiring opportunities that can assist them in making positive changes. If you go on the website, you can see that they do charity basketball games, football camps, cheerleader camps, youth empowerment, and a lot more. And it's good that Lewis Murphy is now, you know, going back to, to his old neighborhoods and, you know, inspiring the youth and giving back to his community. And if you guys want to, you know, just to help out, man, this is his little, uh, his website. 
you can donate right here if you guys want to know more information about his camps all and all the stuff that he's doing for the better this is the website i will have that in the link down below and i'll have it in the pinned post so it didn't turn out the way lewis murphy wanted it to but in the end i like what he's doing with the community i like that he's giving back to the youth and it looks like everything's going well for him. It looks like he's enjoying life and, you know, has found his true passion. And Lewis Murphy, man, I know you only had uh, three years with us, man, but I still loved you, bro. Glad you were a Raider. Wish things would have worked out. And just want to let you know that the nation still loves you over here because Raider Nation has the best fan base in the world. All right, YouTube and Raider Nation, I appreciate y'all watching this video. Tell me what you guys liked about Lewis Murphy. Tell me what uh, Forgotten Raiders that you would like me to do next. Put them down in the comment section below. And I hope you guys are staying safe out there during this crazy time that we're going through. Anyways, Raider Nation, love y'all. Hope to talk to you guys soon. And your boy is out.